If you're looking for somebody who can tell you about all the risks some food can pose to your health, then Bill Marler is your man. He's the managing partner of Seattle law firm Marler Clark, and he's been involved in food safety cases since 1993. Indeed, in that year, he won a settlement of $15.6 million from Jack in the Box over a case of E. coli suffered by a nine-year-old child. Watch on to find out what Marler says he will not eat. Pre-washed or pre-cut produce Marler points out that fruit and vegetables, which have been extensively prepared before display on the store shelves or cold cabinet, are more likely to have come in contact with contamination, and that could result in food containing listeria, a bacterium which thrives in cool conditions. Listeria can cause severe food poisoning and even death in vulnerable people. Unpasteurized Milk and Juices Most milk and juices sold in the U.S. are pasteurized, but unpasteurized products are available. Pasteurization involves the heating of liquids to a high enough temperature to kill bugs. If you drink unpasteurized fruit juices or milk, there's the risk of contracting E. coli. There are various E. coli strains in the wild and some can cause acute illness. Undercooked Steaks and Burgers Some people like their steak bloody, but that does mean there's a risk of food poisoning if the meat's been prepared using the needle tenderizing technique. This involves stabbing the steak with the needles and can transfer bacteria from the exterior to the interior of the cut. In that case, and always with burgers, Marler advises that the meat should be heated right through to 160 degrees. Uncooked Sprouts Raw or even partially cooked sprouts, such as those from radishes, mung beans, and alfalfa, can contain harmful bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella. Speaking to the Bottom Line Inc. website, Marler said, there have been too many outbreaks to not pay attention to the risk of sprout contamination. Those are products that I just don't eat at all.